Poor little Jesus. He has a tummy ache. Magnificat. There he is. I don't know what he did to receive it, but he's got a tummy ache there. <laughs> Saw this at the grocery store. It was in the free book area. And uh, so I picked it up. And here's this is Jesus here with his blonde hair. Kind of a weird thing for uh, Jews to have blonde hair, you know what I mean? But uh, <clears throat> in the first century, now they're so mingled, you know, they have blonde hair. But blonde hair Jesus, and he's looking down in adoration at the cross and at the, I guess, the cup of wine there or whatever else. And um, I don't know where the wafers are at. He probably ate them. Maybe that's why he has a tummy ache. I don't know. It, you know, maybe he ate the cookies, the wafers, and, you know, and a little bit too much wine there or something or sipped someone he shouldn't have underage drinking and whatnot but it doesn't really explain how he got blonde hair but <laughs> i mean where's it at in scripture where's this at where did jesus christ uh, where's this word out up here but then where's this at where jesus would look at the cross when he was a boy and he would think of what he had to go through when he's coming in uh, older and everything else i mean he knew he's god manifest in the flesh but what i'm saying is where does it say that he was looking in adoration towards it doesn't but I found, found this to be interesting here. Holy Week in Peru. It says, In the Peruvian town of Umate, a related custom with Spanish roots has taken on a life of its own as one of Peru's most remarkable Holy Week observances. During the middle of Holy Week, seven teams of three men begin the construction of seven posas. These immensely tall obelisk-like... Say it right there. Obelisk. Obelisk is a occult symbol of an uncircumcised male member. Obelisk-like wooden towers are built to serve as a makeshift shrine statu stations for the Good Friday procession of the Santo Antario, uh, Rentero. Um, the men build these posas virtually from scratch using a combination of tree branches and wooden benches that are tied together with rope to make a tower up to 60 feet high with 30 tiers on each of which is mounted three religious pictures depicting our Lord, Our Lady, and a saint. The wooden superstructure is covered with black and white fabric and is illuminated from the top down by candles that are lit by the procession, for the procession of Good Friday night, as with the seven Holy Thursday church visits in Cusco. The seven posas commemorative, uh, or comm commemorate the Peruvian tradition that Christ fell seven times on the way to Golgotha. Scripture? No, you don't need scripture when you do things like this. <laughs> so just wanted to bring that out there. I have a study I'll put here at the end, link to the, at the end, talking about why they make a lot of the ancient paintings of Mary. She had blonde hair. Hmm. Um, and if you study the ancient pagan mystery stuff, Semiramis, the queen of heaven, you know, um, she had blonde hair, pure blonde hair. Huh. John Ronald Rule Tolkien, in his Lord of the Rings trilogy books, wrote about Lady Galadriel, the elf witch, and she had pure gold hair. And a Jesuit priest wrote to um, Tolkien and said, Are you depicting Our Lady with Lady Galadriel? And he said, Yes. Why, did, why would a devout Roman Catholic depict Mary as an elf witch with gold hair? Could be that maybe this stuff isn't Christian. Just maybe. Check out the videos here at the end, and uh, you can learn more about the actual truth of who Mary really is, this whole Queen of Heaven thing in the Roman Catholic Church. Beware of the traditions of men, which turn you away from the Scriptures.